Good morning guys, welcome to Wednesday and rain again, but it's okay, it's all good. I hope it rains throughout the whole entire summer. So my beautiful garden that I've been working on gets lots of rain. I love a dry barn. Oh, I was watching on the camera last night to make sure that <laughs> Rosie is okay. Hi Rosie, she really had like a struggle after her birth. Hi baby, because it was, she, sometimes goats will like have, be shocked to go into kind of like a little shock after they give birth. I ended up giving her pain pills last night because her babies both came with a foot back or at least they tried to and it was really hard on her, but look at how cute they are. That little guy looks just like Winston. So stinking cute. Anyways, morning, I was watching on the, ca on the camera. I woke up at like 5 a.m. But I was watching on the camera and she cuddles her baby. And it's so funny because our brown moms never cuddled their babies. They slept on one side of the stall and then the baby slept on the other side of the stall. And Mocha, no, the two white girls, they both cuddle their babies. So she was all cuddled up right here in this in this spot and her babies were all cuddled up between her, her legs. She was all rolled in a ball and her babies were all, oh, he's pooping. That's disgusting. But I like to see it because then I know that they're getting lots to eat. Look, look at him. He was just staring at me like, what are you doing? All right, let me get you some food. You want food? She's like, give me food. I'm starving. Look at him. Just staring up at me. <laughs> just hanging out. Oh my goodness. So cute. So tiny. I know, she's such a loving mama. So I gave her pain pills last night because she was struggling. She also looked like she wasn't sure if she should be in this stall. <laughs> she kind of wanted to go back to her friends. But everything's different now, Rosie girl, now that you're a mama. Yep, you'll be outside soon with these little boys. Yep, then you get to chase them around, make sure they're safe. This one always sleeps underneath her. There's something about white goats that I just love. All right, let's go, Sophie. Chores are done. It's around me, but then he's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, babe. <laughs> he's like, hmm, you smell like milk, just like my mama. Things are getting noisy. This typically means that one guinea is on one side of the fence and the other guinea is on the other. They're never happy unless they're together. Oh, they're both there together. What are you guys freaking out about? Oh. Oh, Ellie! Ellie! Alright, I think it's dumb and it can't find its way out. It is. It's... Come on! Ellie! Come on! You got it! Come on! Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, there's a guinea stuck down there and it can't... It doesn't know how to get out of there. Come on! Come on! You got it! <laughs> it keeps coming towards me and then running back. Those guineas over there are all upset that it's stuck. I just feel bad for my neighbors. <laughs> Ellie! They're like, we're running away because they're... Ellie! Ellie, come on! Ellie, come on! Sophie thinks that it can get out, that it'll be able to get out. Our poop pile from this angle looks monstrous, but we have people coming to <laughs> get more poop. Slowly going down, but also the other day when my friend was here, it was so funny. A little chicken walked up to Ellie and pecked her and literally Ellie turned around saw it was the chicken and was on top of the chicken so fast like she doesn't like try and hurt anybody even when she's like defending herself she's such a fighter though oh you love the chickens anyway she is so funny I wonder how she actually got out yesterday she can't get through here anymore I see her checking the fence line though, so she must be able to go underneath the fence. She loves the goat barn. Does it sound like it's getting out? That stupid guinea. He's cute. The stupid guinea is screaming again. They're all cute. He is adorable. He's cute. Poor Rosie wants out. She thinks that she's locked into jail. I want to see your brother now. He's the least friendly for sure. That one is. Really? Well, 
That one is like being picked up as much. Oh, he's getting used to it. Oh my goodness, his Why are you face. He, he looks like he's got a grouchy face, but he's just so cute. She's sitting here waiting to go out. I know, she wants to go out. All right, we could try and just take them out for a few minutes, let them have a little run. In the barn, right? No, in the field with the girls. Okay. Just wait. Let's put the pig away. I know when I was a mom, how like you get so, she just, she's just been wanting to get out all day. She's been pawing at the door. It's hard for her to be away from her family. But when you're a mom, you just protect your kids and you just. <laughs> Ellie, Ellie, come here, you old kid killed. Ellie, Ellie, come here. So we're taking this out for the boys. I'm gonna clean it off, wash it up. And we're gonna have a little jumpy thing outside for them. She went right <laughs> to where she thinks her family is. <laughs> She's like, where is everybody? She found food. She just wants more food. Maybe I'll give her some more food. She's like. Here you go. She's like, remember me? Hold her babies. <laughs> hold them? Yeah. Run. I know. Just let just hold them for a minute though so that she She wants them. I know, until she looks around because she's gonna want to protect them. Uh oh. Watch. <sighs> she trusts her mom. Of course she does. It's, it's Look at your baby had babies. You're a grandma. She's so excited. It's okay, she's right there. All the grandmas are coming over to inspect your, your babies. Uh-oh, wrong mom. That's why we keep them locked up. Because they smell milk and are like, let's eat. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> it's really good for them to be able to get out a little. They're going back in their bed though. That's your grandma. Hit Lola. <laughs> She's like, what are those? Lola's like, oh no, not more boys. <laughs> She's like, it's okay, they're okay. She's just saying, don't forget, I'm your mama. Yeah, they're all boys. <laughs> I swear the goats are laughing. Ha ha ha. Everybody's, yeah, everybody's watching. Hi, babe. I want to take some pictures of them out here. They're your babies. Tilly is so much happier with her herd. I'm going to take her back in though and put some, or maybe I'll just go get some more cream. She's tripped over your leg. I don't know. They're loving it out here. Like absolutely loving it. Rosie is loving it out here. I want to put some more cream on her. I might go get some. She wants to stay out here. The babies want to stay out here. The so, happy. so Tilly thinks the babies are all hers. They're her grandkids, but she loves them. And they look like her. And they look like you. <laughs> Cricket and Lola are like, we want to see, but we're afraid. Nope. Yeah, these boys will, I think they'll love Cricket more than Lola this time. Last time we had a bunch of boy babies that came out and joined the herd and they all attacked Lola. They just spent all their time with Lola. I think these babies will probably be more attracted to Cricket. No, I think Lola. Look, they know who their mama is. Mama and grandma. But watching the goats is so fascinating. Like just seeing how, how they introduce their babies to the herd and how patient they are with the herd and how patient they are with their babies. Like, it's just adorable. Like, she let her mom just walk right up to her babies and... <laughs> Lots of times, goats are born in the herd. They're not separated at all. And the moms just go off, do their thing, come back, and everybody's good. I mean, they are all good. They're like, oh, baby. I know, they're all good. So the only reason I don't want them outside right now, well, I mean, it's probably fine, is that it's pouring rain. And she's not good at calling, like, she doesn't, they're not tr as trained by her yet as they could be. She 
Sophia loves her, those babies. Remember when the babies all first started coming out, Tilly was kind of grouchy with them? But she's actually really good with these guys. Yeah, she's probably like, is this my baby? I don't understand. She's probably like, I'll make this my baby. They're not your babies, but don't worry, you can have babies again. I don't know, actually, I, I'd like to sell her. Her, and her, no. and no. Mocha. No. Come on, let's play. Oh yeah, look at that poop. They're getting a lot of colostrum. That's what colostrum poop looks like. Don't step in it. So we got this box today. You guys know what that means. We got some kind of animal, strong animals with essential oils. I don't know what that means, but anyway. Still have to take all this baby stuff to my son. But this is what we got. Let's open this side. We got three baby chickens. We didn't order them. We didn't plan to get them. Uh, somebody that I know ordered them by mistake. <laughs> They're Jersey Giants. I'll put a picture of what they look like on here. Uh, they're supposed to grow into giant chickens. So anyways, we're gonna raise them up. I don't know for sure that that's what we want in our coop, but I can sell them eventually if I want to. If we want to, they're both all three little girls, little hens. But we're excited about having baby chicks around again. We have turkeys that are going to hatch next Friday. But for now, this is what we're playing with. The pig always waits at the back door to see if the weather's bad. It's been raining off and on all day. Like pouring rain. And then sun and beautiful. And then pouring rain. And then sun and beautiful. And now it's spitting. But I wanted to show you guys something. Four chickens just wandering around the front yard where they're not supposed to be. And there's Stormy Boy. But that's not what I wanted to show you. Come with me. Ever since we moved to the country, I've been really noticing nature and, and noticing how much it affects my mood and my happiness. And Sam noticed this today. Do you guys see it? We're gonna walk over there. The hay is growing, holy moly. And it's soaked. <laughs> but we're walking over. This way, Ellie. Ellie! Ellie had a bath this morning. Everything in life is better with a little dog, uh, with a dog by your side. Like honestly, all I need is Ellie to just follow me around and be with me. <laughs> Come on. Oh shoot, it's on the, it's over the property line. Wow, look at all these rocks. I don't know if it's safe, but anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. This gorgeous tree, it's not ours. Sam got me all excited. It looks like an apple blossom, but actually it might even be pears because our apple blossoms are pink and, but you can get apple blossom trees that are white, but it looks like a pear tree to me, or it could be a pear tree, but it is gorgeous. Sadly, it's not ours. I'm glad I walked out here though. So, no matter how busy you are, no matter how stressed life can get, let this be a reminder to you to take that walk in the rain, get your feet wet, and look at all the small things, all the many miracles in life. Like, I have never been in this field all the way down here before. I love it. It's, it's gorgeous. My little dog running. Like, I'm so glad. This is so incredible just being here and looking around. Don't you know that you're beautiful?